Hey guys, what's up and welcome. I am Matthew the Hybrid, the designer and a developer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Coded Design, where I teach coding and user interface design. In this series, we are going to develop an app from these screens, okay? First things first, you know at Coded Design, we are very careful as to some sort of explaining things that we didn't create, things that we didn't design so that we cannot get into some troubles as time goes by. This screen has not been designed by us. This is not my screen. It's something that I took from a website, Free Peak. So this means that this is not my own work. Why I've decided to look for something from the internet. As you get into app development or web design or app design or graphic design or front end, you tend to come up with your own project, with your own screens, with your own ideas and creativity, which is good because um, you are creating from within. You are a creative person. You are trying to generate your original ideas, which is good. But sometimes that can be limiting because nothing can come out of you except what you know. So meaning that you are going to be perfect only on things that are within your capacity or capability. So by me going to the internet, it's my own way of trying to tap into somebody else's creativity and try to bring that into front end. This is the question that I'm trying to answer. If I'm saying I'm becoming a better developer or a front-end engineer, can I take somebody else's work and be able to produce that? So in this video, we are going to take this screen that I have took from Freepik and then we are going to create a front-end for it. So what you see here, we are going to translate it and make it like a live UI mobile you are using react native specifically expo so that's what we are going to do in this uh series how different is this series from like your normal youtube series i happen to be a graphic designer but and a coder at the same time so as i'm getting into this journey of um this this dual nature like studying things from design and then ended up coding them and then after coding them in the front end and end up doing the back end connecting to database mongodb graphql i'm starting to see some patterns okay i'm not perfect i'm not a guru but i'm starting to see some patterns that i thought this is worth sharing okay so in this series i'm going to start from graphic design where we will explain concept things that um will affect us later and also things that becomes a problem in the production line if maybe the designer is not aware of development okay so i'm hoping to share my experience and walk you through everything more especially if you are a beginner okay the design aspect will help you to understand things conceptually things that i cannot explain when i'm coding okay so with that being said uh, my experience with um, React Native and Expo, okay? Recently, I have published my own, not necessarily my own because it's for a client, okay? I have published um, an app on Google Play, okay? Using a uh, Play Console, okay? As you can see. Okay, as you can see, these are the issues that I have faced, Okay. These are my screens, uh, which um, have been highlighted by Google. These screens are extracted from Google from a bundle. Let me just say from a setup. You know, when you are installing a setup on Windows, which has got a .exe, like maybe it's a VLC or it's a web application. OK, so I did that using Expo and um, the extension of it, it's .aab. It's some sort of um, Android what what bundle, okay? But in short, it's like a setup, okay? So I did that and I uploaded it on my Google console. And then in that process, um, a very long process, which has got ups and downs, fix this, fix that. Um, your app has been rejected. Um, one of the things that uh, the Google console highlighted, it's my user interface. As you can see, they have extracted automatically all my screens and then here they are telling me the sizes of my button 
are too small so they might have a problem with uh, some devices okay so in this series um, these are the things that we are going to discuss okay um, it's not like we are just going to get into coding and come up with beautiful screen but the question is can this screen be functional okay is it up to standard okay i don't want you to be like me uh design proper um element uh user interface element but when they get into some sort of live production on app store and then they might be rejected by google because the buttons are too small okay so this is just um an, an idea um just to give you the things that we are going to discuss about or what's the value for you in this uh, series okay so here is what recall um what google recommended um consider making this clickable um item larger as you can see this item's height is 40 dp okay consider making the height of this touch target to 48 dp okay so um dp stands for uh density independent pixel obviously we are not going to get into details in those things things that me even myself i'm not an expert of okay and also this video is not about that okay this video is about us people who are um, hustlers people who are pushing people who are trying to become better developers so we're not going to come up with bombastic terms terms that we don't even know but uh, the only thing that we have to know about um, dp is that in um in mobile screen okay if you set something as a pixel which means it has got some sort of a definite uh width and height or it's more like it's rigid okay but now um obviously as you know that mobile devices have got um some sort of what can i say um different widths and height okay so meaning that if you use your units as dp okay it means that that width and height it's independent of the pixel it's not rigid okay for instance let me just give you a very practical example let's say you make a three by two button okay let's not be specific about three pixel or three whatever and then it looks good on the landscape version of your application but what if then somebody switches the orientation of um, the application as you can see now the application is more wider okay it's more wider than um being like in a portrait um, um upright okay so obviously now maybe that button which we have defined in pixel it it will be something like this let's say as you can see that um looking at this okay looking at this vessels this screen this doesn't look good okay so the dp i think it um some sort of solves those problems so that you can have units that are um, flexible enough to some sort of look good in all screens okay so here i just wanted to tell you these are the things that we are going to discuss about this is um some sort of a a beginner friendly um what can i say series and also we are not starting from coding we are going to discuss a lot of concept and i'm going to load tons and tons of knowledge with this theory and how we are going to do things as you can see also here google um, had a problem with my inputs okay they were too small obviously one might ask um like what do you mean too small okay to be honest they are not too small in such a way that they are not reusable okay they are usable when i'm testing on my mobile uh, application you can click and type but these are recommendations from google and what else can we do guys can we say uh no google is wrong we are on we are right remember google owns the platform okay maybe they've got more than a million devices running their own system so we might as well design in such a way that we um what can i say we conform to their standard okay so enough about this um what else do i want to share okay also how are we going to um attack this project okay as you can see now i'm in a graphic design application okay which is corel draw okay so what we are going to do we are going to uh, not necessarily design the screens why we're not going to design the screens because the screens are already here okay 
how the application is supposed to look in real life and in the mobile phone and also we're going to test it um, in a mobile phone okay so it's supposed to look like this so that might that means minus one problem but however i took this from the internet remember so meaning that we can't just uh when we want to use the background we use this as it is because this is a jpeg okay this is a jpeg it's an image it has got this app and welcome of which in real life this is going to be this is going to come from like some sort of a code perspective okay so we will need to have a background without what without this text and these icons obviously in terms of the icon we might create our own or we might even trace this one just to get this exactly as it is okay so this means that um we have to use a graphic design program to create some sort of uh, graphic assets okay what do i mean by that we need to create that nice background okay without this so that we can use it on um, react native expo and then as you can see here also we've got that nice pattern there we need to recreate that pattern using a graphic design program so that we can use it and also here as you can see we've got some nice background there okay this is not something that we are going to do using um programming which is on expo because uh, I, I mean it's going to be a necessary unnecessary complexity okay as you can see here google's uh, google um is warning us about a lot of things and also what i've noticed about publishing um an app on google you need to be efficient okay meaning that the bundle size of your application which is some sort of the setup that the users install it must be as small as possible okay it works if it's lightweight so that to improve the the user experience okay i've also got frustrated by installing like applications that take too long okay so with that being said it means that we have to some sort of uh, share the workload okay if there if there are things that we can quickly do with graphic design and they are going to be lightweight maybe it's going to be a png that we can use we can do that instead of coding this kind of a thing okay unnecessarily which might increase the bundle size of our application okay guys that's about it for this video if you want to join me in this journey where we will be using um what can i say um google's um standard and also we will be uh using um not necessarily uh apis but we will be um using documentation like we will be using react native documentation we will be using stack navigation checking documentations in order for us to get this exactly as it is okay if you want to join me don't forget to subscribe but that's about it for this video in the next video we are going to jump into corel draw and design these the designing aspect is not going to be too long to be honest because we are just designing few things not everything maybe it's going to be this logo this background this background and this background so we're just going to create like um um three assets which is going to be very quick and swift and then from then we are going to get into coding if you like such videos like these um please don't forget to subscribe i'm matthew singati the designer and developer see you on the next one